Hi my beautiful Kiss Divas, it is your girl Tracy Simmons and I am back with another video. This video I am going to talk about my makeup spending. Just, and I'm going to keep it 100% in this video. <sighs> First let's start with this. If you love my accessories you can find them at My Kiss Treasures. The link is down below. Before, below. Now, with that all being said, let's talk about this makeup spending. And this time last year, I owned almost 180 makeup palettes. Yeah. And that was after my clear out. And I cleared it out under 100, and then it just kept building back up. Like, I am addicted to makeup palettes. And the crazy thing is, I will buy makeup palettes that I know are not in my color scheme. I will buy the same palette over and over again with a different pop of color in it. Like, I am so addicted to makeup palettes. And that was my biggest struggle. So, I did some huge downsizing, downsizing over the year and over the last past months where I was just giving away bags of palettes. And I am now down to less than 30 palettes. I own 28 palettes. I do want to talk to you about the rules that I will be placing on myself starting now going into the end of 2020. I My goal is to reverse my VIB Rouge. I don't think I'll be VIB Rouge forever but I definitely will probably stay in VIB. Now I'm VIB Rouge to the end of 2020 and it's going to take me a year to reverse my status with Sephora and that's one of my goals. So basically I really feel like I've gotten my spending under control. You see I've downsized and honestly if you watch my channel or watch my videos you can tell that I'm enjoying my makeup way more and it's because I love everything in that one drawer like everything in that one drawer that's my eye makeup I, I love it I don't have any foundations I'm forcing myself to wear I, it, I don't have time for that if I don't like it if it doesn't perform up to my standards the products are gone like seriously so basically I'm not going to go on a no buy because I don't feel that I need that but I am putting rules in place like example you know my problem is eyeshadows like I said palettes and I had to find a medium like it's like I'm never going to be a person that's going to own two palettes because it's not enough variety for me I've got to be able to have variety but at the same time I don't want I don't want tons of products so I've got to find that balance and so as of right now I believe that balance for me is 30 palettes I do not want to own more than 30. As of right now, I own 28. So I'm limiting myself right there. I want to open up my eyeshadow palettes and see pan. I want to look at my makeup and it look used. I want to know that the money that I'm spending is not being flushed down the toilet. That is where I'm at in this journey. And I feel like I want to spend 2020 playing and having fun in the makeup that I own. As far as the other items, I'm only going to buy it if I use it up. And that's the rule that I'm putting on myself. I'm only going to buy a concealer unless I use a concealer up. I'm only going to buy a foundation unless I use a foundation up. I'm only going to buy a powder unless I use a powder up. And you get it. And then if there is a product that is not a part of my collection, like I own no pigments, loose pigments. I own no loose highlighters. I own no, I just... I don't. If I see a product that I don't already own in my collection and I want to try it, I'm going to allow myself to buy it. So those are the restrictions that I'm putting on myself. I hope that I save tons of money because I was spending tons of money on makeup. Yes, I was. And, you know, I'm not even doing this to save money. I'm doing this because I'm tired of owning so much stuff. Because as crazy as it sounds, I was buying all that stuff. And then having anxiety about the stuff that I owned. Like it was just too much. So it was like I just kept going in this circle. And I'm, we're over it. But let me show you my vanity. And let me show you how I've downsized it. And um, I hope you guys enjoy. So this is my collection. 
this is literally everything that I own. <laughs> That's it. There's no hidden drawers anywhere, no hidden makeup. This is it. Okay, so let's start with the palettes because I feel like that's the most interesting thing of my boring collection. This was really hard to find an angle and I'm actually recording upside down so I hope it all works out in the end. The first palette is one of ColourPop's palettes. It's the Aren't You Glad palette. I love this palette. I love oranges. This is perfect for the summer, spring, and fall. Like, orange is everything. So I got that. Um, I also did get the Uh-huh Honey palette. I love it. It's just something about yellow that I feel like it needs a brown on me. Like, so I like mixing this palette actually with the California palette. Like, I'll put a warm transition color in and then do uh, one of the yellows on the lid and I absolutely love it. So the next palette is a ColourPop palette and... I love this. This is actually one of my favorite Nutra palettes right now. Out of all the palettes that I have, this is one of my favorites. Next we have what is on my eyes right now and this is the Violet Voss Bright Vibes palette. I love this palette. So far I've only used these two colors and these two colors in this palette and I was disappointed in this uh, boom box, the pink one, because it was blotchy on my skin. I did not use a white base, which is what I should have done, but I didn't. It probably would have helped out a lot, but these are so pigmented and easy to blend, and it works great on brown skin, if you're wondering. Next is another Violet Voss palette. As you can see, you can tell what brands I like. There are just certain brands that I love their formulation and Violet Voss is one of those. This is the Sugar Crystals. It is also a very colorful palette. This one, this whole row right here is everything and I absolutely love this shade right here in this palette. God, I love that. Anyways, I love this. Um, you would think I wouldn't get a whole lot of use out of these colors right here. Sometimes I take these type of colors like right here and I put pop it on the center of my lid as an eyeshadow topper. Absolutely love it. But what I love most about it is like the eyeshadow look I created today. I needed something to put in my inner tear duct and I love using all of these shades for inner tear duct. I hear my husband coming home so that means he's about to barge in the room. Then I have another by the Voss palette. This is the Coral Crush. I did a video here recently. You guys absolutely love the eyeshadow look. You come in, baby. Um, love the eyeshadow look. I love corals and peaches. I love these type of colors on my skin tone. So I absolutely love this. Like I, I don't think I can create a bad look with this palette. Next is Dose of Colors Blushing Berries. And that's what that looks like. Another favorite. I love using all matte eyes for when I'm running late because they're easy to blend and these blend so good. I actually use this one more than the other one. This is the browns and the peaches. Perfect for work. Then we have a Juvia's Place palette. This is a, another coral palette. But I love how they have the browns and the grays mixed in with the corals. I didn't think this was pretty at first until I saw a couple of people do looks and I'm like, oh, these grays really do complement that coral. So, love this palette. Next we have a Huda Beauty and this is the Emerald palette. I don't do a whole lot of green, but I feel like when I do, that's gonna have me covered. Uh, the Amethyst, the Ruby. This is my favorite out of all the small ones. I got the Neon Orange. And the neon pink and I actually bought the yellow as well but I ended up not liking it and I didn't feel like the that that green one that came like in the green packaging I don't feel like it was the same quality as the other ones got the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette with Jackie Ina my girl so I did get that to show love and support and because the palette is just look at that 
This right here is probably my favorite palette out of this whole collection. I kid you not. I love this palette and use this palette so much. When I do wear cooler tones, I like mixing them in with warmer tones. That's just how I like to do it. I know it's weird. So a palette like this, this screams to me. You have these grungy colors, which I love pairing these together. I love these colors right here. Boss Lady is just the bomb. Love it. And then you got these dual clone type colors in here. Um, I only have two Anastasia palettes, you guys, and it's these two. Everything else got decluttered. <laughs> but I kept the Riviera palette. I absolutely love this palette so much. Um, I love the, this right here. I love Mediterranean. Ugh. And it's a color that I never would think I would like because I do not like blue shadows you guys whatsoever another violet Voss palette I didn't even realize how many violet Voss palettes I had until <laughs> until just now <laughs> oh there we go I love the glitters um, I feel like if I travel this is a palette that I would take with me because I can do a neutral eye I can do some pops of color and then I even have the glitters for like to party on a nightlife next we have a Dominique palette and you guys I have 28 palettes actually I'm sorry I miscounted I have 29 and you guys know I don't want to go over 30 but I'm really thinking about getting the new Dominique Com cosmetics palette but I'm gonna wait to see what comes out during Christmas again remember I'm one of those people that likes to mix and match my cools and warms together so this palette is another palette that screams my name and the rest of my palettes are my Natasha Diona. And I actually, during the decluttered, decluttered some of my Natasha Diona. I decluttered the Star palette. I decluttered the mini Lilac palette. Um, here's this one. This is the mini Sunset palette. And Natasha Diona is my favorite formula for eyeshadows. So this is the mini um sunset this one broke which isn't surprising this is the mini nude because i travel with these i don't even want to open this and make a mess and i had to get this one this is really a lot a smaller version of this palette right here but if i travel i'm not going to want to take this so this is perfect like this will be coming with me to atlanta in a couple of weeks so yeah look at that Oh, it's so pretty. It's called the Coral Palette. You know, my corals. This is the Sunrise Palette. You guys have seen that. Absolutely love it. Um, th that's actually the little sister of the Sunset Palette, which is another favorite. And the thing about Natasha Diona uh, palettes is they tightly like i use the crap out of this palette and you cannot tell it's like especially the mattes they're so tightly packed like a natasha denona palette will last you for your entire life so her coming out with this smaller palette for less money is perfect because i'll never use it up um here is the gold palette which is so pretty i love this i don't wear it as much as i thought i would but it's because it's so shocking like the golds in it is so shocking it's not something that i can wear like every day to work the biba palette that i use a lot of i think the sunset this one and the next one that i'm going to show you is the ones that i use the most of i love this palette i just love everything about this palette right i'm a neutral girl when it's all said and done so i love that safari palette i use this one a lot as well because of work and like i said especially for work Next is the Tropic palette, but my favorite part about this palette is the mattes. Is these, is these colors right here. I love them. Now, the shimmers I love as well. This right here is my favorite, but there's one shadow in here that is so weird to me, and it's this one right here, and it's the Laguna. And it's the reason why I didn't get the mini version of this for travel, because Laguna's in it. And it's like a beautiful turquoise blue here but when I put it on my eyes you guys it turns teal or green and it's just really weird and I think it's because I have so my undertones are really yellow I, I don't know but it's strange and I hate the fact that it changes colors on me because in the package I love this blue but and last is my Lila palette 
you love this palette as well it's purples you can't go wrong with purple right you just you can i love these shades right down here it's very different it creates really beautiful looks this is one of those palettes that i love for the office as well because it allows me to play with color but it's still office appropriate okay this next drawer is my face drawer it's not a lot a whole lot not a whole a whole what did i say <laughs> anyways this is a mac palette that i purchased from the os OCO or whatever it's called outlet absolutely love this I actually wear this a lot I am really into glowy blushes right now so I am so in love with this center you guys already know I love the Fenty Beauty I have dry skin so everything in this drawer is going to cater to dry skin um, I have the Born This Way concealer in mocha and in butterscotch I also have the old Born This Way concealer. I'm still in love with it, and I keep finding this everywhere on sale. And I, and it want it makes me want to get it. And I'm like, no, I don't need fifty thousand concealers. Um, not a fan. I used to love this one. It's too light for my skin. This is a Sephora brightening. It's in butterscotch. I used to like my under eye concealer to be super bright like this. Not anymore. So I usually use this on the lid when I'm using brighter colors because it is so white on my skin. It looks really good. This is a concealer that I'm just trying to use up. It's very drying under my eye. Um, so is this foundation. It's very drying. But I like this foundation because sometimes I need one matte foundation for pictures if I don't want to look glow, you know, shiny in pictures or if I need my makeup to last all day or whatever the case may be. I like having at least one matte foundation and this is it right here. Now I did see a video where someone mixed the two of these together. And I feel like if I did that, it probably would be the perfect combination for me for when I did need something that is a lot more matte. So you can't go wrong with Fenty. I love Fenty because you just, you, you can find, well, I can, I can find my perfect match. Next is the new Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I do like this. It's not the perfect color match for me. This is in 4N. So I've been mixing it with a darker foundation and this is my Too Faced Do Me. So I usually mix a drop of this in this and it's a perfect shade. I absolutely love this Do Me foundation. I don't know why I love it so much. I think I love it because even though it's a dewy, luminous type foundation, it is full coverage. This is butterscotch. Um, I've definitely used more of the darker shade only because I use it as a mixing medium for a lot of foundations. And because I bought this one first at in during the summer and then I bought this at the CCL. They had them for half off. Love this. It's so glowy, it's so nice, um, but yeah. I think that's all my foundations. I decluttered a lot of my foundations. Primers, again, I have dry skin. So as you can tell, look at my primers. I love my hangover. I need to buy another one as a backup, but I'm trying not to do that anymore because you know, they don't usually come with the big packaging and this right here is perfect. I've got the hourglass and my skin is really dry or let's say if it's really dry or if it is a really mattifying foundation like I can't wear the Fenty unless this is under my skin under my skin under the foundation and it's like half gone it's really expensive but it is so good it's a primer serum by hourglass you know what I want you guys and I said I'm gonna wait until the upcoming Sephora sale is Smashbox primer oil I think that's what it's called i really want to try that we've got the fenty beauty new hydrating primer love that um this cover effects i've had for a while and it just doesn't go away <laughs> it's a blurring primer but i love using this around the bridge of my nose and it prevents my glasses from rubbing off my foundation so that's i don't use it on my whole face but that's how i use this and i love it this came recently in a boxy charm. It's called Glow Ahead, and I keep saying I forgot I actually had this, so I need to try it and see how it works. But it's a face oil, so I guess I could use that before my foundation. I have one corrector because if my iron is low, ladies, or if I'm really tired, I will have bags under my eyes. Not something that I get all the time, but I love this. It's perfect. I love the way it blends out. 
and it is the Becca Backlight Target. They sell it at Sephora, but I never buy it at Sephora because I know they sell this all the time in CCO, so that's usually where I go get it. Um, this is my favorite face powder, has been for years. Um, they're both in medium dark. I usually have it in dark all the time, but I ran out of dark. But that's what it looks like. I don't keep the sponges. Okay, so next I have MAC bronzing powder. I always keep this in my collection. Like this is a, has been essential for me for years. I have the Too Faced powder. I actually have this in my purse in the dark. This is a deep tan. I just got this as a free gift. This is from Anastasia when I bought the Jackie Anna palette. This is my favorite setting powder. This is Too Faced and it's in what color is this medium it is the perfect color to highlight under my skin i love this so much this is my favorite like i can get rid of all my setting powders and as long as i got this one i'm happy i'm laura mercier um now that i've got the two Faced, this used to be my favorite i'm just trying to use it up it's like about right here just trying to use it up um i prefer darker ones now but yeah this should probably be out of my collection next month because it's almost gone next is the becca this came in uh boxy charm and it is their hydra mist i love this only thing i would change is i want to see the darker color in person it feels wet when you apply it to your skin it's very hydrating it's so weird but it doesn't it feels wet when you put it on and it gives your skin this really pretty silky smooth finish. I really like this. I have heard people say that this will dry out. But um, I definitely want to get this in the darker color and give it a try. Okay. This is Too Faced. This is so glittery. But I love the shades in it. So I tend to use this more at night. That's a blush and highlighter duo. I've got my Becca. And, and I had so many Becca highlighters. I got rid of all of them. I kept Rose Gold and I kept, what is this? Topaz. Um, I have an NYX highlighter. I love this highlighter. It's an orange highlighter, dual chrome. Um, this is another favorite. It looks like crap because I use it so much. This is Ginger Mule Fenty Beauty. And then this is a Melt Highlighter in Phoenix. And they just came out with a highlighter here recently that I want. And I need to line my drawers, you guys, because look at my desk getting stained. This is a Tarte Holiday from a couple of years ago. I absolutely love this. That, this is something else that I feel like I could never pan. Because I use the crap out of these three. And it doesn't even look like there's a dent in it. It's so weird. Um... This is the palette that I have on my face right now. The highlighter and the blush. That's Juvia's Place. I love this right here so much. It is a blush and highlighter palette. Uh, we have a Morphe bronzer. This is the bronzer that I use daily. And then I have a Huda Beauty face palette love this palette so much especially in the summer when my skin is like really dark love this now i have one more thing in the back and i couldn't find it the other day i was like because i do so much decluttering i'm like oh my god did i declutter it and forget but this is a smashbox camera red and this last drawer is going to be super quick and easy to go through because i'm not opening every lip product this is a mixture of eye and lips and i put all of it in one drawer because it fits perfect i'm not into single shadows anymore um i need to be into single shadows instead of buying palettes of the same color story but hey it is what it is i've done a lot of changes to my lips and i've gotten rid of a lot of lipsticks because i don't like matte anymore and i was a serious matte girl at one time so i do have some mattes i like topping them off with a gloss i love my sheer and satin finishes now. Uh, I'm really into glosses now. I wear lip gloss almost every day. My favorite lip gloss, hands down, is Buxom. So, and these aren't even all my lip glosses, you guys, because I have like colors that I put, you know, wear often in my handbag. So I have the Anastasia glosses. 
too. The Anastasias are super thick where the Buxom has the plumping thing. So it's like tingly on the lips. But because it's not as thick as the Anastasia, it doesn't last as long. So I have to retouch up on that more often. I have my MAC cookies. And where you see I don't have very many. I have tons of lip oils. You guys, I love lip oils. And in Vegas, they have a clearance um, outlet and store. And your girl took advantage of it. So I have them in my purses. I have them in my car. I got them everywhere. Also in here, I have some chapstick. A couple of my Fenty uh, gloss bombs. I love this because it's like a lip gloss but it's not super shiny but it's so moisturizing on the lips absolutely love this formula i have like two other ones in my purse um god i love i, I just i love everything about it um in here i have my more matte lippies a lot of look another oil i have a lot of liquid lipsticks and i still keep a few because when i go out with the hubby he prefers my lips to be matte that's just, he doesn't like to kiss me and my stuff is everywhere. Love these liners right here. Um, I also love how small they are because it's not something that I'm going to use every day. So it being little is perfect. Uh, mascara. This is, used to be at one time my favorite mascara ever. And I just recently repurchased it. Uh, Ulta is having a two for one. So it, it came in this box. And it was the price of one. And then I have the Tarte uh, mascara that I'm excited to try. I'm a huge mascara girl. I do not put wear falsies anymore because I like my lashes. I've been using a lash growth serum for approaching a year now. And my lashes are the bomb. But here's lash glue. I'm all but here's lash glue. <laughs> um eyeshadow primer a free color pop i have anastasia beverly hills eyebrow thing down there but that's what this is here um and then here i have some liquid eyeshadows some lip liners some eyeliners um, just all together like this drawer is totally random i have some mascara samples down here like yeah Okay, I almost forgot to show you guys because you guys would have been like, where's your setting sprays? But I have this unit under my vanity. See that? I have some jewelry there. This unit. There is no makeup in this unit, FYI. And the bottom is everyday hair products I use. This is a combination of beauty items that I use to get dressed in the morning makeup wipes comb and brush extra brushes and then when you look up i have this on top these right here are the sponges that i use every day my primer water my setting spray moisturizer some skincare is in here most of my skincare is by the bathroom the deodorant i use every day these are the four fragrances that i use at bedtime white jasmine and gardena i just use the spray and the lotion at night i have some vitamins hidden back there and basically my vanity is just set up of the products that i use every day you know to get dressed and to make my mornings go smoother and that is my downsized makeup collection i do hope that you guys enjoyed the video anyways Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.